Hiya, welcome to LSB Feasters radio channel and travel corner. Glad you're here. Today we're going to feature famous 56 WFIL in Philadelphia. It was running a country format in 1983 and virtually no one was listening to it. And then there was an FM competitor that started playing country. So, FIL had to do something new. FIL was huge in the 1960s and 70s, so management decided, let's play the music we played when we had listeners. So they did it, they called themselves Solid Gold 56 WFIL and cranked up the oldies. Hope you enjoyed. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, and if you like what you hear after you subscribe, smack that bell. You'll get updates whenever we post anything new, which is normally weekdays at 3 o'clock. So if you're ready, going back to 1984 with Joey Reynolds hosting mornings along with Jeff Collins and Bill Marshall on Golden Oldies 56 WFIL. Mary Jane. Yeah. You only see that in, F in federal drug enforcement pamphlets. And a Frank Sinatra. Also known as Mary Jane. I've never heard it referred to that in the street in my life. <laughs> and a Frank Sinatra movie. They referred to it in one Frank Sinatra movie. They were allowed to do that. There was a picture called Reefer Madness. You probably saw that several Great times. Movie. No, I haven't. I've heard of it, though. It's a real head Hysterical. show. Hysterical. 706 is our time. How do we get off on this drug subject? Let me let me get to the crux of this whole thing. Lorraine walked into the room. All right, we've oh, done... That, that is narcotic. Seeing, <laughs> seeing Lorraine is narcotic. We've done a lot of things in our lives... And we've been through lots of experiences, and I know the audience can share this. There was the, uh, the 50s greaser era, the 60s drug era, and there was the 70s war era, the Vietnam War. And we, we have, we have that's, that's really a nice synopsis over 30 years, isn't it? Well, actually, it's said by historians that the Vietnam era actually stretched from 1974 until the time when, uh, in historical terms, when Nixon resigned the presidency, when it was all encompassed in the Vietnam slash Watergate era. Well, I was just simply burned out. <laughs> And for all those years, and watching all of these things that were going on, I realized that we've taken on many causes, but nothing that has really been meaningful, because there really wasn't anything I could do about any of those causes I've been involved in. Such a, what do you mean? Politics, drugs, anything that, uh, Vietnam, I mean, I had no control over any of that stuff. You can do stuff, though, about it. But... About myself, I can do things, but not about the rest of the world. So I come to the conclusion that this is one of those things that we can do something about. Hunger. Because I have some food, I have some money, and I can share that. See, that the government doesn't have to get involved in that. And science doesn't have to get involved in it. They can't. And uh, this is something that I can do. I can help my fellow man easily by just giving food. But I have to know where to go. You're and serious. Then to, yeah, and then I have to trust that it's going to get to those people. I'm talking about Ethiopia, of course. So we've asked the American Red Cross to come in and give us a hand for one. That's just one group. And uh, they're, they're here this morning. A couple of people came in. They're going to answer phones while... You, the audience, are going to contribute to Ethiopia. You're going to, you're going to give your money, and I'm going to give my time, and I'm going to give my food out of my cupboards, and I'm probably going to fast, but I don't know how long I can get away with it because uh, when you get to be my age, you can't stay on the air long without fuel, and uh, I probably will have a meal here or there. But I, I, I think I'll stay on the air for a couple days anyway. Ooh, you're really serious about this. Yeah, and I am serious, but I need your help, see, and I want you guys to stay with me for one thing. Now, I know we have How about if we give money instead? <laughs> <laughs> I know. See, a typical American capitalistic pig. I'll read Newsweek and I will make a donation. We don't want you to do that. We want you to get involved. Now, this is something that you really can get involved in. I want you to get caught up in this. We never got to this. Moon is here this morning. FOP. That's the Fraternal Order of Police. And that, what an appropriate visit this is with you guys this morning, because uh, we've gone on our own journey today. You know, we're going to try to raise some money for Ethiopia. And you guys just successfully raised money for the Fraternal Order of Police by having, a, well, I'd say a white sale. It's not really that. I mean, you're selling all kinds of dry goods, right? Yes. You sold a trailer load full of, more than one trailer. Yes. You sold, well, you sold me two trailers. So, so I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> and we really bought things, didn't we? Yes, I mean, did. everybody came down and bought stuff. Yeah, we we didn't wait for the check to clear. No, well, that is another story. I don't mean my family. <laughs> 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 so Bob here was Santa Claus, right? No, Phil was Santa Claus. Phil was Santa Claus, rather. And uh, Moon played the part of the uh, Grinch that stole Christmas. Yes. Because he had all the money. And what you guys did was, uh, in the Northeast, rented a warehouse... On a vacant lot on the south side of Philly. <laughs> no, you took, you took over a warehouse, you put all of these goods in there, and you sold them. Yes. Now, how can I organize this Ethiopia thing so that we make some money for uh, that? Some, I, want, I, I got people from the Red Cross who volunteered here this morning. And I got all, we got all kinds of people who will give their time. But how can I make this work? Because you're an expert at this. How can I 
What, what, give me a little bit of input here. We, we will set you up. If you, if you are interested in having another Tal and Linden set, we will set you up with one. No, we don't have time for that. <laughs> we want to we get some money. I don't think they need towels and Linens in Ethiopia. because These guys only have one trick. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so get going. We have quite a few, quite a few tricks. Uh, I, I will say this in their defense. They brought us coffee and donuts this morning and a receipt from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> so they did spend money with Dunkin' Donuts. Not, it was not a mooch over there, was it? No, it wasn't. No Dunkin' though, Donuts jokes this morning. I noticed the receipt has no writing on it, however. <laughs> it is a blank receipt. See, there is no writing. Absolutely none. You Look, can Phil, fill in on. however much you want. Yeah. One of the ones that was lost <laughs> in the explosion. <laughs> it's a little light. Yeah, right. <laughs> a little light, but it's there. So if you really need police, it's 911. That's the phone number. Or Dunkin' Donuts. True. <laughs> right. Now, this, <laughs> how, much money, how much money did you guys come up with? We, uh, we sold a total of $86,000 worth of uh, linens, which means a profit to us of $12,000. Oh, that's great. For the Rainbow Foundation. That's great. Now, the Rainbow Foundation helps handicapped children? Yes. Handicapped, disabled, uh, kids that need special formulas. It uh, hits a lot of different things that other charities kind of miss. All right. Now, that's here at home, and we do have problems at home because uh, we take care of our own first. That's the way every family is. And then you worry about others later. I think that's the rule of thumb, isn't it, in life? Yes. I mean, you worry about your own kind first, and then you then you extend yourself. Yes. Right? Yes. I mean, I'd be lying if I said we're going to take care of Ethiopia first, then we'll take care of my daughter. Right. So uh, what happens is when it strikes home, then we get very compassionate and kind. And we usually uh, sometimes, uh, not usually, but we sometimes cut ourselves short. We stop giving in our home. So what, what you've done here is great, and we do it every year. And you have, have is this a record year for you? $80,000? Yes, yes, and it's yes, the most you've made, yes, right? Yes. And we did real well coming over there and giving you a hand, right? It was the oh, best day great. we had when you were there. All right, and you're appreciative of that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, are. now, it shouldn't end there. How about taking the money, not your money that you've already made, because that's already committed and that's what you did it for, but how about uh, taking the, the money that, that we need to, to take care of other people out of our pockets now? I'm not asking you guys personally. I'm asking us as a nation and us as a community. Don't you think that we can extend ourselves now and go overseas? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> In other words, do you feel bad that people are starving overseas, which we've heard asked us many times on television? Yes. Yes. Right? yes. Well, what are we prepared to do for it? Are we just going to sit there and watch the news every night? Well, Phil and I will stay here and answer the phones for you. That's what I was getting at. <laughs> now we got to go. There we go. <laughs> All right. Now, we want to we get people to, uh, to donate money because I don't think that we can take any more food. We can't process it, or at least at this point we cannot. Is that right, Jay? We don't, they don't want any more canned goods right now or foods because people have cleaned their cupboards and I guess we're backed up, right? Well, what do they want now? They want us to give, come up with some money? Cash. Cash, right? Now, so what do people do? Just call the radio station and pledge a certain amount of money, just like they do on all the uh, public television radiothons? The or Red Cross is sitting by the phones right now. If people will call your lines, Joey, um, and uh, pledge money, they'll take their pledges and the money will get to Ethiopia. Want to make a tax-deductible statement to prompt people? Sure. Yeah. Is it? All right. Is it? I'm asking. It is tax deductible, sure. Yeah. Right now, until the new tax laws come in. And they, and they send receipts? Yeah. Love those receipts. Don't worry about them yet. I mean, don't worry about the new tax laws, I mean. All right, now, let me give you a phone number where you can call. Our telephone number, the regular request lines that we use here, I guess you can call. we got the Red Cross standing by. we got the women are in the other room here. And uh, we're going to stay on the air until we uh, reach some sort of a reasonable let's, goal. Let's set a goal. Well, what kind of a goal? And what what is a reasonable goal? How much how much so money? Would you, you say Joe, 100 and a quarter for a metric ton? They they don't <laughs> they don't have any limit to the amount of food that they can use. Let's do it until we drop. True. Well, you got you've got to set a goal though because people respond to that. That's the way it goes with all those telethons. Even though, well, that, let's let's start at a goal of a thousand dollars and work up. All right, uh, that's 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 cheap. No, I, I think, Joey, what you ought to do is you ought to stay on until you drop. I yeah, I know, but you got to set a goal because that's why everybody does that. Jerry Lewis doesn't stay on until he drops. You set a goal. No, he then... stays on way past. <laughs> 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 All right, 263-8900, and if you live in Jersey, 966-3900, uh, we would like to ask you to call and make a donation no matter how large or how small. If Again, it's a, no food. food. Well, no, no food. There may be a time we'll ask for that, but we need money right now. Right. <laughs> Monday morning at 7 a.m.
We'll take a look at 24 Hours Later, right after this, on Golden Oldies 56 WFIL. Golden Oldies 56 WFIL is once again your home for hard-driving Philadelphia 76ers basketball. Nixon sets up outside, dumps it inside for Magic Johnson, slips away. Here come the Sixers running. Irving goes to KT Campus. Follow the doctor, Moses, Cheeks, Andrew, and the round mound of rebounds as the 76ers shoot to bring the NBA championship back to Philadelphia on Golden Oldies. 56 WFIL. Next game tomorrow night at 6.50. It all begins with David Madden's NBA preview. We're going to beat the New York Knicks tomorrow night at the Spectrum, and you can catch the game right here on your Sixer station. Golden Oldies, 56 WFIL. In 1985, millions. That's right, millions of dollars will be spent by new brides, grooms, and their families to make their weddings an event to remember for a lifetime. On top of the millions spent on the weddings themselves, additional millions will be spent by the bride, groom, and their families in setting up a fresh new household. Now, if you own a retail business or if you're responsible for the marketing and advertising for a fast-growing, promotionally-oriented organization, you owe it to yourself and your bottom line to call the Bridal Fair Hotline Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, at 482-7000 and ask for Pat McDermott. That's 482-7000 and ask for Pat McDermott. Let our marketing specialists show you how to tap into this huge, concentrated market. Call 482-7000 to reserve space at the free, no-obligation Bridal Fair seminar in your area. If you're in real estate, travel and lodging, clothing, major or minor appliances, call 482-7000. If your line is consumer electronics, home furnishings, jewelry, photography, or catering, call 482-7000 Monday through Fridays, 9 to 5, and ask for Pat McDermott. Seminar space is limited, so call soon. Let us show you how to make 1985 a record sales year for your business. Jerry Blavitt, the geeter with the heater, the boss with the hot sauce, does it one more time. 16 of the greatest hits of all time in one album, The Untouchable. Songs like Guardian Angel by the Imagination. Oscar Wells, Flatfoot Sam. Some of the best romance records for lovers, the destination. Plus Rocket Ride, Johnny Greco. Brazil by the Coasters, Drinking Wine, Larry Dale. Tell me why, Norman Fox, Good Night the Elegance, Good Night Baby, The Imagination. Echoes by Richie Allen. To make a long story short, Eddie and the Starlighters, The Fires Burn No More, The Chester, The Metallics. And a classic from Frankie Valley, simply called Just in Time for the Holidays, Jerry Blavitt presents The Untouchables. Also available at your local record store, Memories Live, one more time. Get your copy today. Here's the 56 forecast for Roxboro, Fitzwatertown, Turnersville, and Fox Chase. Mostly sunshine today, high 50. Tonight, fair low 25. Tomorrow, mostly sunshine, a high of 50. Right now in Philadelphia, 32. And back to more of the best of Joy Reynolds. WFIL. The number is this. The number is $56,000. That's the number we want to reach now. We're not cocking around, folks. We want you to call us this morning because this is a Schmooze Day Tuesday. And what needs to happen is you need to give your money because uh, you may get be tired of hearing all of this. See? And uh, this may be uh, something that uh, is overbearing. Maybe it's 24 hours of something that you started with yesterday morning on the way to work. And but it may turn you off. You may want to listen to us. You may, want to, you may not want to listen to us. You may not like what you hear on this radio station. Uh, because we're not playing enough oldies, or we're not getting enough of, uh, of the uh, vital information on, like the time and the temperature. I don't know what, it, what is important to you, but I do know this. There is a world out there. We're a part of it. There's a world in here, and uh, we have the goods in this country. They do not have the goods in Ethiopia. We, we are sending a, a number of, uh, of shipments over there, and we've collected lots of food. We've collected lots of money, but some of the food and some of the money hasn't reached the right hands. Not because of politics. We're talking about logistics. That means that the trucks cannot get through the highways to get to the section of the country where people are literally dying by the thousands, hundreds of thousands soon. Stay tuned. What needs to happen is we need to get more money. We need to rent planes, planes filled with trucks, trucks that drive over the terrain, that deliver the food that we've donated, plus new donations of food, because all the food that we've given already has been eaten. And it's not going to waste. I mean, they're not, they're not throwing the food away or selling it. The government's not involved in, in anything that's negative or any of these um, um, awful tactics that we hear about in, in lots of situations. I mean, there's always some. I mean, there's always going to be somebody who is a, a low life. 
But uh, you can't be concerned with the two or three bad seeds. You've got to do the best you can and the best I can. And what we can do together is we can give money this morning. 263-8900. You know, uh, if I'm going to stay awake and I'm going to bust my hump, which I don't mind doing, and I'll stay awake for a week if I have to, I want some cooperation. And I want you to get on the phones and call me this morning. Now, we got a lot of commercials because morning shows have sponsors. And the reason they have most sponsors in the morning is that's when they have the biggest audience. They get the biggest rates. And we also have to get away with the... Uh, with. I, have to, I really have to do this. i got to lay a guilt trip on you. Because if you don't give us money in the morning, we don't have a shot midday. i got to have this morning audience's attention. And we need to have your money. Now, the phones are terrible in the morning. I know you're busy. A lot of people have to go to the bathroom, take their showers. they got a lot of things to do, get the kids off to school. And there are those who are just simply in cars. And I know it. I mean, I, kn I know that it's, you cannot get to the phone when you're in a car, obviously, and especially if you're stuck on one of the wonderful highways we have. But I want you to call me if you're near a phone. That's not true because I took three calls from people who pulled off the road and were in phone booths and yeah. gave us donations. Well, that's, we need that. See, I mean, we need that kind of support this morning because if we don't get that, then we're wasting time. And this is not as a radio... So what do you want now? Plug the phone number. I, they, the phones are all lighted. Look at that. That's, right. that's really nice. They, they know. I've got something more to say. Just a minute. Okay. People, don't stop interrupting me. Nobody interrupt me, all right? Because yes, I've been up 24 hours. I don't want to hear any interruptions from anybody. Give me a minute. I don't care about the sponsors. I don't care about the music. I don't care about anything right now. Just shut up, all of you. Now, we've been here. And I want it. I want it that way. Just for one minute, all right? No hand signals, nothing. Let's have complete silence in the studio for a minute. This is serious. We got something that we finally can do as a city. This is the city of brotherly love. We got that Greek name, Philio, which means we are, we are the brotherly love. We are the city of brotherly love. And in this city, with the deepest kind of love, we have great spirit. And I've seen it happen through the years on telethons. I've seen it happen whenever there's a tragedy. I lived through this 20 years ago, 15 years ago in this town, and again. Now, I haven't been here all along, and I haven't been with the program. I, I left for a while, went to Los Angeles. But there's no city like Philadelphia when somebody's in trouble. Never has been. And everybody tells you that who comes from here, and everybody who ever works this town on radio, which is what I do, or television, they always tell you that Philadelphia is the most generous city. And, and it's true. Now, there, what I want you to do this morning is I want you to take a little time out of your life and give us some money. Because this is the time when the world is in trouble. I mean, this is not... We're not talking about ratings on a radio station. I don't care about the ratings. And we're not talking about uh, my own personal integrity at this point or my anything. And we're talking about a world, a whole world of people. There's a section of the world that's starving. I mean, just... To, you, you may not like hearing this, and you want to turn the station off, and that's fine. I mean, you can change the station with your foot. Maybe this bores the hell out of you. It's okay. I mean... If you're that cold, then go ahead. Go on to another station. That's fine with me. But i got to do something to get your attention, to get you to call me, to make a pledge here. Because we have set a goal of $56,000. That's not a lot of money. And that's not the only goal. I mean, I'm not going to stop at $56,000 because that's not a lot of money. That's only a drop in the bucket. We want to take care of a portion of the world from what is supposed to be, at least we know we're one of the most generous cities in the country, if not the... And we want to take care of a portion of the world that really needs our help. And they can't help themselves. The government is, or our government, our American government is not going to help them. We'll help as much as we can in spirit. But they're not going to donate money. They're not going to take money out of taxpayers' pockets and, and do things with it. They're going to take their little allocations. And by the time they get around to it and the, and the wheels get greased, it'll be forever. Because there's always a great sand dance in the society. The thing that works the best and the fastest is... Capitalism is individuals giving their money. That's what works the fastest. I've seen it all my life, and that's the only thing I've seen work in this country, is when people reach into their pockets personally, and when they get mad about something in this country, that's when politicians scramble. And the reason they scramble is because they know the power of the vote. We don't have that option right now. We're talking about people who are starving today. I mean like noon, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're not talking about next month. So we need to take this cash as soon as we can get our hands on it, and buy the equipment, and get this food over there. Because people are dying. So it was no surprise that just a few hours later, Joey reached his $56,000 goal and then upped it. 
to $100,000. Was determined to stay up and stay with the people of the Delaware Valley until that goal was met. Coming up in just a moment, we'll relive the moments as the goal climbed higher and higher. As the Joey Reynolds Marathon continues on 56 WFIL. Do I have news for you? Thompson Toyota and Doylestown Dotson are offering $500 off every vehicle in discounts and factory rebates. That's right, $500 off every vehicle at Thompson Toyota and Doylestown Dotson. $500, what a savings. Thompson Toyota and Doylestown Dotson have over 290 vehicles in stock. Buy your new or used...